Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So in this video we have taken an another sum on projection of solids. So now firstly we have considered these two planes that is the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. And now we will consider as per the question it is given that you have to draw the projections of a cube of side 40 millimeter. So firstly I have considered a cube of side 40 millimeter. And it says that it rests on the ground on one of its corner and the face containing that corner is inclined at 30 degree. So this is a cube and it says that so firstly uh, the first step we will draw this cube and we will place this cube on one of the corners as it further says that that one of the corner is inclined at an angle of 30 degree. So for that reason, I have placed the cube like this and the face containing that corner is inclined at 30 degree to the ground. So for first step, for the initial step, our front view that is in the vertical plane will be like this shape. So this is the shape in the vertical plane that is the front view and in the top view or in the horizontal plane we will get this shape. So this type of square shape we have to draw. Now moving forward, the further the question says that it is resting on one of its corners. So any corner you can consider, you can consider this corner or this corner which is resting on the HP and it is inclined at 30 degree to the ground and it is inclined at 30 degree to the ground. So I will tilt this at an angle of 30 degree. You can tilt it at this side or you can tilt it at this side also. So 30 degree, so this is how it will be. Just move it up as it will be resting on this ground. That is the HP. And it is perpendicular to VP. So as you can see, the line is, the corner line is perpendicular to the vertical plane. So one of its corner and the face containing that corner is inclined at 30 degree. So this face, this is the face and this is the corner and this face is perpendicular to the vertical plane as you can see. If this plane was parallel then it will be parallel but this plane is perpendicular to the vertical plane. So now considering the front view, so this is how the front view will be and this is the top view of the cube. As you can see here, in two dimensional top view, these are the two squares, the other square thus behind, it is hidden. So this is the dotted line which we will draw. So one part is visible, the other part of the square is not visible, that will be dotted, we will draw when we will draw it manually. So let's move to drawing it manually. So now first we will draw a straight horizontal line at the center. This will be the edge of the plane, the center line. The above part will be vertical plane and the bottom will be horizontal plane. The line will denote it as X and Y. Now starting with the question. So first as we have seen in the 3D animation, the question says the cube of side 40 millimeter, it rests on the ground on one of its corner. So that corner part will be later. So bottom side we will draw the base of the cube that is the square and upper side will be the height. So bottom side for drawing the square first I will draw a straight line. You can use any method. So here I will draw the square. The position is we have seen earlier how we have positioned the square or the cube. Now the side of the cube is 40 millimeter. So firstly, I'll consider a point on this line. And from that point, I'll draw 90 degree angles. The purpose of drawing the 90 degree angle is that, as you know, the base of the square has angles of 90 degree. So from the center, 45 degree on both the sides. From this point, 45 degree on the left and 45 degree on the right will give me an angle of 90 degree. So from here I will draw light lines. So the angle created is 90 degree. Now from here on the compass I have taken side as 40. So cutting an arc of 40. 
now keeping the pointer on this arc and cut on this line and the other will intersect so this is the base of the cube that is the square we have drawn of side 40 mm i'll make this part dark now next i'll take the projections upward towards the front view so taking this projections now the height of the cube will also be 40 mm so from here height of 40 mm from front side it will be a square shape but as the cube is placed like this as we have seen in the top view so the center dark line will also be there that will be the edge of the cube now naming is really important i'll name the corners as a b c d the bottom corner and the upper corner will also be there so as there are two squares one at the bottom and one at the top of the cube the bottom will be i'll name it as a b c d so here a b c d this is the bottom square and there is one more square at the top that i'll name it as e f g h or you can name it as 1 2 3 4 anything is fine but just remember what you have named so this intersection will be a dash this will be b dash this will be c dash and the upper one will be e dash this will be b uh, f dash and this will be g dash the others will also come f dash and h dash will also be there and b dash d dash will be there i'll do it later i missed out here now after this moving forward the question further says that one of its corner is inclined at 30 degree to the ground so there are two corners you can start from a dash or you can start from c dash and you can draw an angle of 30 degree so i have considered a point drawing an angle of 30 degree so this is 30 degree i'll draw a light line so this angle of 30 degree is drawn now i'll place this whole square the front view on this line where a dash or c dash will be at the bottom so this point i have considered c dash where i have kept the pointer so this will be a dash and this will be c dash now marking the point b dash it will be at the center now constructing the remaining part so from c dash we'll draw an angle of 90 degree as you know the square side is perpendicular or 90 degree so just we have to place the front view of the square on this inclined line this height is 40 marking the 40 above and completing the square so i'll make the square dark and the center line is also dark so that is b dash this will be g dash f dash and e dash I'll make this old part dark now next as you have said earlier this is a b c d on the bottom and upper is e f g h so here also it will be this b and d dash will be here also so b dash d dash will be there because it is on the other side this will be f dash h dash now same goes here d dash and here as h dash 
now next we will take the projections from the front view towards the top view taking this as the reference line taking these projections downward and taking these projections on the right side now the naming is important so this is the arrow direction from where we have taken the projections and finally now a dash and a this will be a double dash b intersection b dash will be b double dash c and c dash will be c double dash d and d dash intersection will be d double dash so this is the bottom part of the square so half of the part will be not visible that will be hidden i'll draw that part so this part will be visible and this part is half of the part is not visible as you can see here if you look from the top view now for the upper square e dash e intersection will be e double dash f f dash intersection will be f double dash then g g dash g double dash and then h and h dash will be h double dash so this part of the cube will be visible so i'm drawing it dark joining e f g h that is double dash so this is from the top if you look this part is this square now for the bottom part this part will be visible so i am drawing it dark and this inner part will be hidden so i'll draw that dotted line before that completing this cube so this lines will be dark so this is the shape of the cube after the inclination and this is the hidden part the hidden lines that is the edge of the bottom square so i have drawn it dotted and we are completely done with the sum thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram